it comes to feel like why are we supposed to be here, you know, um, all the hard work we put into it. We had some ups and downs during the season, but we fought through it and we're in the playoffs. You never had any doubt, you know, you said even a couple weeks ago that you were going to make the playoffs. I mean, through all the turmoil, what made you remain confident? Um, actually, a book, um, The Secret. Um, I always say, whatever you speak out, will come to, to life. So, my, my confidence was high. Everybody on the team confidence was high. We had some times to practice um, and walk through stuff, and walk through the other team stuff, and we just prepared ourselves just for almost everything. Con considering how uh, you know draining the game was last night, how tough, how important was it to get off to a fast start tonight? Very important. Their team where they had a day off, they came in with a lot of energy in the beginning. Right when we had them down, we, we got them, we got up a little bit, but they made their run back, and um, we fought back a little bit, and we won the game. You, you guys never uh, lost the lead or were seriously threatened, but were you running out of gas there at the end? Towards the end, yeah. I think that was getting a little bit of fatigue, making um, poor, poor um, decisions with the ball, and we were just happy that it was towards the end of the game. It might, it might not be as good as uh, Joe Namath's guarantee, but you sort of guaranteed this team a couple of weeks ago were make the playoffs when things look bleak. How's it feel to make it now? It feels good, but like I said, um, I think that we deserve to be here. We're a young team. We, have, we still have a lot of confidence, trust in each other, and I think that it's just going to be a great challenge. I think playing Cleveland is going to be fun. Is it going to take five or six games to beat Cleveland? How many? <laughs> Rags down. <laughs> yes, it's going to be tough, though. We're going to go out there and fight. That's, a, that's all. So. How were you guys able to stay focused? Is given all the stuff that happened, especially over the last four days. We know that when we um, usually when you come in in the game or whenever you practice, almost everything that's in your normal life goes away. Basketball is where you can escape all the things that you think about normally in the day. So we dedicate three hours to just ball out, just try to do something that we did last year and get, get even further. You knew if you won, you were in, but were y'all aware? that Toronto was pretty much in charge of their game the whole way too? I don't know. I wasn't. My biggest thing was just trying to get trying to get this win. I knew that if we got the win, we are kind of um, seal the deal. So my biggest thing was out there just trying to bring out and yeah, bring a lot of energy to the floor and get people over. Derek, what's your mindset heading into these three games with basically no margin for error in any game? Slip up and basically win. out. Win. No matter what, trip. Hit somebody, fight, fight, whatever, win. What do you feel you did toward that? Um, I think that I did all right. Um, you no, know you did all right. Huh? You did anything specific, did I? Uh, <laughs> um, just trying to play aggressive, I'll say. Um, the more I play aggressive, the more people tend to get open, and it gives us confidence. Um, I always put people on their heels and just let them know it's going to be a hard game. Was it more mental after halftime? It looked like you and Joe particularly were practically out on your feet, you know, just like you didn't have hardly anything left. Just pushing yourself. Yeah, we were just pushing ourselves. Um, we, we tried to get them all off, all in the um, first half. And you see that out there just playing hard. Um, second half, they came out um, and made a run. The rest of the team did good with just um, playing good defense, making all their shots tough, and somehow we just got this win. Was that the idea? You're trying to knock them out in the first half and get another big Definitely. enough lead? Just, just jump on them. Yeah, just jump on them and um, just bring them down. And um, I think that we was going to take control of the game, but they made the run. And we happy that it was towards the end where we was making poor decisions. It seemed like the last couple of games we rediscovered that takeover mentality, you know, with it all cause, you know, determined to score, determined to win. What? Yeah, I'm you, you just learn. The more, I guess, the more you play in the league, the more you learn and the more you get comfortable. Like I said, I can't wait until I'm like a fifth or six year veteran. It's going to be crazy. But I just can't wait. What do you think like when they got to five? I think you missed the shot. Had both spun out, right? You know, yeah. came to the bench, you're upset, like, uh, you know, so, 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 so to yourself. Yeah. What are you guys thinking at that point? What are you thinking at that point? Keep going. Don't worry about that shot. I'm a type of player that 
I dwell on what happens if I do like turn over mid shot without I dwell on it too long. So my big my biggest thing was just getting it out of my mind. So that next shot just came back going in. Was there a key play, one key play, two key plays um, that you felt that you know really sort of got you over the hump in the fourth quarter? Um, people making shots, me driving to the hole, um, rebounds on the defensive end. Um, it was huge. Do you feel like winning your way into playoffs like you did, rather than backing into the playoffs? Will give you momentum going in now? Definitely. Um, we know that we can play against them. Um, any NBA team can win. Um, they're a good team, but I think that we should be all right. What do you want to do?